Welcome back, it's your guy, Engineer Mojo. As you can see, it's holiday time. With holiday time comes new TVs. And with new TVs comes, I have to mount this thing on the wall. Now, if you're like me and your house doesn't have the perfect stud setup, or you may be a little OCD and you want your TV just right center in the wall, then you need to find a way to mount your TV without utilizing the studs. This is the video to tell you how to do it. To get it started off fast, tools you'll need are, you'll need some strap toggles. The primary tool to mount your TV to the wall without studs. You can find these at Home Depot, Lowe's, online. I particularly like the Hillman brand. I have less issues with this brand. And as you can see, I have the 316th variety because my TV is less than 70 pounds. If you have a bigger TV, you can always go up in size. They have multiple sizes you can use. Next tool, some nitrite gloves. Anytime I'm working near my paint, my walls, I try to wear gloves just because you have oil on your hands and it gets on your wall and your finish and it just doesn't look good, I highly advise to use gloves. You'll need a tape measure, you'll need a pencil, also to do some marks. Now these two are optional, but the appropriate drill bit size and a drill, this is an optional tool. You can push through with the tool itself, the actual Hillman strap toggle, but I find that it's easier just to pre-drill the wall and put it in. Now that'll do it for the complete tool list. If I add any tools, I'll be sure to note it down below in the video description, a full detailed tool list. And of course, you'll need your TV mount kit, whichever company you prefer. With that said, let's get this install started. The topic of this video is not necessarily about how to place your TV centered on the wall. It's about how to mount the TV without studs. But for purpose sake of the video, I'll show you a quick rundown of how I locate the TV on the wall based on the room, the wall, and where I will actually be sitting or laying. So the next thing I'll do is I'll lay in the bed or I'll lay on the couch or I'll sit on the couch, wherever I'm putting this TV, and I'll just look up at the wall and where do my eyes naturally go without craning my neck, without straining my eyes. And this is where I kind of want to mount the TV. I try to make this comfortable for the most amount of people that are going to be viewing the TV. So in my case, I'm looking at the wall I, you know, it doesn't have to be exact. And I'm going to walk up to the wall and kind of make a general location of where I want the TV. And then when I look at the wall, I see, okay, I want it about yay high, about the height of my eyes. It just turns out that that's the location based on how far the TV is from the bed. And so from there is when I'll go about marking the wall for the locations. Again, this is not a video about how to place the TV perfectly centered in the wall, but I'll give you a quick rundown of how I do it. If you have any questions, please ask down below. So to get it started off fast, I measure the full width of the wall, and I'm looking for 59 inches. Next, you'll see in some tutorials that they'll use a level, which I highly encourage if this is your first time mounting a TV to a wall. But I don't use a level because I've done so many and I feel comfortable with my method that I've developed. I know I want this TV centered about 63 inches from the bottom of the floor. So I measure up 63 inches, get a rough idea of where that's at. From there, I take the 59 inches. I take the typical stud width, which is 16 inches, which is 100% of your wall mount kits will have 16 inches as a bolt spacing that you can use. I'll take a 59 minus a 16. I'll divide that by two. In my case, that gives me around 21 and a half. So now I have the two measurements that I need. I know I need to go 63 inches from the floor up the wall. Then I need to go 21 and a half over from the edge of my case, the door frame over. And where those two lines intersect, that's where the first screw hole needs to go. And then I'll just repeat the process on the other side of the wall, put the second screw hole, and then I'll verify. I'll do a measurement in between. And if it's 16 inches, then I did my calculations correctly. If it's not, no worries. Remember you did this with pencil when you were marking so you can erase and go from there. For the TV wall mounts, you'll have usually a four bolt securement to the wall. So for the bottom two bolts, in my case, I just go to my mount. I measure from the top row to the bottom row. In my case, it's about one and a half inches. I go from my first screw hole, I go down one and a half. Same thing on the other side, one and a half. I mark the other two locations. I do a quick verification that they're at the same level as well. 
It would be 63 minus one and a half, which is 61.5. Same thing on that side, 61.5. And there I know that I'll pretty much have a level TV. And the good thing about it, you can be off by an eighth of an inch or so because with these mounts, there's some wiggle room. There's some wiggle room. You can shift around as you need. You can't be off too much, but in this case, I'm fairly confident the TV will be level. So that's a quick breakdown. I'm sorry if it's rushed, but this is not the point of the video and I don't want to slog this down. I've gone ahead and used my gloves, my trusty gloves. I've made the marks. This is the first screw hole mark or bolt hole mark. Second one, go across 16 inches. That's the next one and that's the next one. This fits my particular TV wall mount. If you have a different mount, it may be different bolt hole locations. The next step involves a drill. Now before you drill anything, as always the, the rule, measure twice, cut it once. In this case, measure three, four times and drill once. When you're drilling to your wall, you only have one wall. I'm gonna take this drill and the appropriate size drill bit based on the kit that you have, and I'll begin drilling the wall. Now all four mount hole locations are drilled. This is a quick demonstration of what's going on behind the ball when you use the strap toggle. So you have the drill, you mark your spot, you drill through. You have your hole for your wall that's in there. This is the strap toggle. You wanna to turn it. These two little uh, knobs here, these rotate they rotate the strap toggle. So you want it in this position so that the strap toggle point, pointy end, is facing the wall. So you rotate it, it's pretty easy. Take the pointy end, which is why you don't necessarily have to use a drill, but it's a little hard to push the wall without a drill. Just take that, insert it into the hole. Push it all the way through. Your actual wall is a little thinner than this, so not exactly how it'll go, but you'll get the point. See, this is what's happening behind your wall. The strap toggle goes through. One is up here, one is down here. You just want to make them straight. And as you see, the strap toggle got horizontal. You just rotate it into the position that you want. Usually I put it in that position, horizontal to the wall. And then from there, I'll seat the plastic piece against the outside of the wall. I'll push it up against there, make sure it's flush. I'll use my fingers. It's a little harder to show in this box. It's because the box doesn't stay still. But I'll just use my fingers to pull through. And as you see, the toggle clamps against the back side of the wall. And then when it's clamped against the back side of the wall, if you verify that, that's when you just wiggle the plastic pieces these come right off your strap toggle, mount it to your wall. This is what happens there. First one goes in. I seat it against the wall. This is where I even them up. And this is where I'll pull through. I'll place my two fingers here. Get a better view. I'll place my two fingers here on the outside like that, and I'll take my other two fingers and pull these, these two hooks back. That will then engage the toggle strap. This is a close-up of how it looks pulled through. And this is where I'll go ahead and wiggle these off. You just, just wiggle them right off and they'll break, they'll snap. But this is also where you can verify that the toggle has seated directly on the wall. Let me switch it so you have some light. The blue metal flush against the wall. You know it's correct. The screw hole is clear and open so you can put the screw in. Now I can go ahead and snap this off. Voila, that is installed. Of course, this is how it works. This is the, the mounting screw that you use. 
You may need to use a washer for your uh, particular TV mount. You may not, depending on how big the holes are. Once you get the first one in, pretty easy. It's a rinse and repeat. I haven't finished that one yet, but I just wanted to show you where I'm at. The rest of the install is pretty straightforward. Again, this is not a video about how to use your mount bracket. This is how to mount without studs. So I'm kind of just going to rush through this part of the portion. And this is all four screwed in. The mount is now installed. And now I'll just go ahead and put on the back brackets to the TV and it'll all be done. Now with the mount in place, I'll just go ahead and mount the TV. I've already applied the brackets to the back of the TV. From here, I'll do some measurements to make sure it's even on the wall itself exactly where I want it. You know, on this type of bracket, you can kind of move it back and forth. It's TV's on the wall, no studs. There you go. As always, I enjoy having the community here, watching these videos, learning from these videos, but I also love to learn from others as well who are watching the video. So if you have any tips, please let me know. Please comment down below. Any tips for me, for others in the community watching. Also for YouTube, I've learned so much over the years. I'm just trying to pay it forward. If you have any other videos that you think are good for something that builds a house or car, let me know. Thanks as always. Thanks for watching. I'm out.